Well, welcome back to another Maintenance Monday. Still out here at Factory Direct with Tim Leinbarger with Westside Appliance. Wanted to go over some cleaning tips on a range and a stove here. So on the top of the range, we've got a smooth surface here. What kind of tips would you give for cleaning this surface right here, Tim? Well, one of the important things is if you have a boil over, you want to get that stuff wiped up as quick as possible because otherwise it's going to literally bake into your glass, okay? So you move your pot out of the way and just do a quick wipe up. Um, it might not clean up everything. You can switch to a different burner if you don't want to bake it in farther into your um, top. So, but once the top is cool and you need to do the, the further cleaning, um, you need a good cooktop cream cleaner. Um, there's several different ones on the market. We have some at Westside if you need. Um, and you can use like a, a non-abrasive pad with the cream cleaner and literally just kind of you get a little elbow grease, scrub it on there. If it's really, really baked on, um, you can get a razor blade and scrape that off. You just put it at a nice angle and push the, the burnt on stuff off and then do your cream cleaner again. Um, I like to use the, the blue scratchy pads. They're non-abrasive that you can get yep. at the store. Yep. Um, so I use those for my Teflon pans as well. So it won't scratch up your top, but it'll still give a little bit of extra um, umph in your cleaning. Probably best to do that cleaning as soon as possible again instead of letting it sit possible. there and dry up. If you, if you cook again after it's just it can actually it's, burn it into your glass. Yeah baking time. it in yeah. baking it in. Now on the inside um, you know we have a, a self-cleaning mode here right there uh, we just hit that run that is that a good way to clean the inside of the oven well, that's then? That's a great way to clean the inside I mean they've you know been designing self-cleaning functions that work very well for years. But what's important to know is when you self-clean your oven, it goes to its highest possible maximum temperature, which creates a, a larger chance of failure. So the important thing is do not clean it the day before you're having a big party, because then it's gonna be too late to solve your problem if something were to occur. So you might give yourself a couple weeks, a month before the party to do the cleaning. So if you have a problem, Westside has time to come out and solve it for you. Yeah, and you also kind of get that burnt smell when you run that self-cleaner too sometimes. Yep. So you, you might need to ventilate a little bit. You know, I heard of a little trick here the other day also is take a pan of water and put it in there, run it a little bit, creates that steam, kind of like we talked about on a microwave the other day. Um, so it also gets a little bit of moisture in there, makes it a little bit easier to clean up. But uh, self-cleaner is a good way to clean the inside of the unit. But again, don't do it the day before or the day of that party. Okay, well, thanks again, Tim, for joining us here for another Maintenance Monday. And join me next week for another Maintenance Monday.